Hello everybody and welcome to the G Kaiser Age. My name is Lucian G Kaiser and today we're going to be talking about the rebranding of my YouTube channel and we'll also be taking a closer look at my new command and control recording studio and collection area. So let's get started. Lucian G Kaiser, G Kaiser Age, launching. So today, I will be not only introducing you to the G Kaiser Age channel, once again with my new rebranding, but I'll also be going over my new Command and Control Collection Center and Production Studio area. I just moved into a new house, so now I have my own official room to where I can do all my recording and everything, and this will allow me to do a lot more videos a lot quicker and a lot easier for you guys. As a huge fan of anime, gaming, and entertainment, or age as I like to call it, I want to share my love of all of them with everyone out there, whether you are a fan or just curious about some of the things that I love in the anime, gaming, and entertainment style. Here on this channel, I'll be going over a lot of things that I've collected over the years that I love and enjoy and showing off some of the cool stuff that I've managed to get my hands on. On today's video, I'll not only be showing off my collection in my new studio area, but also talking some more about age itself. So let's get started on that with the tour of the studio and talking about age at the same time. Alright, so here we are entering my new studio slash collection and command and control area. As you can see, I got some posters of some of my favorite old school anime up here, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Gravion, and of course, Giver which is a great anime and as you can see I have a nice collection of Vampire Hunter D books some of the Star Wars books especially the X-Wing series love that series of books and several other novels I'll be going over reviews of a lot of the content that you'll be seeing here in my collection over the next few months and years and I hope you guys will all enjoy it because this is all stuff that I grew up loving and enjoying myself now the main point of the G Kaiser Age channel is to have some fun talking about things that we enjoy you know discussing whether they were good bad you know what was great about them what wasn't so great but this is definitely not going to be a channel where i'm going to do videos bashing content that i don't like if it's something i don't like i'm not going to do a review over it just to get views or clicks just because everybody else is possibly doing reviews of the negative sort about that particular content now of course i will do some negative comments about some of the stuff that I have enjoyed but you know actually disappointed me in some ways but that's how I'm gonna label it disappointment and not just pure bashing or hating as you can see I've got a pretty huge collection of course of gunpla and model kits here that you've been seeing for the past minute or so including my perfect grade double O riser that I just finished up and several other kits now all these boxes actually have mostly built kits in them and I'll be putting them back on display at some point in the future I just don't have a ton of room for them and there's Kinshiro helping to guard my room here from the Fist of the North Star and there's some nice neat little insert cards that I got from Ami Ami when I ordered some figures from them and as you can see there's my Millennium Falcon from the new Bandai model kit collection for Star Wars we got, of course, the uh, X-Wings here, the new X-Wing from the new movie trilogy, and then the old school classic X-Wing, the T-65. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of kits and everything that I'm going to really enjoy talking about. Everything from master grades to high grades to real grades, just all over the place. And I'm going to really enjoy showing them off to you. Some of them I've already done videos for. Other ones, they've got videos coming up on them. But once again, in the realm of everything, you know, we're going to be talking mainly about anime and anime related products, including model kits and figures, as you can see on my shelf here. And then, of course, we're also going to be talking about gaming, and that means everything from Japanese RPGs to the newest shooters, anything that's caught my eye that I've played, that I've really enjoyed, and that I think other people would enjoy in their own ways as well. 
Now on the entertainment side, that's gonna be everything from just card games to of course board games and strategy games. As you can see here, this is my Star Wars Armada Miniatures collection and I love playing that game. I definitely want to uh, at some point get to my local shop and you know make some more friends and get some more people since I moved, you know, don't really have anybody to play with, but looking forward to getting out more and, you know, playing with some other folks out there. But on the entertainment side, that will also include things like the Marvel movies, Disney movies, anime movies, anything like that, that I really enjoyed movie wise, everything from the old classic movies like Die Hard and, you know, other 80s movies like the original RoboCop, up to more modern movies like the new current you know, Marvel movies or the uh, DC animated movies, which I absolutely love the DC animated movies. I may not be a huge fan of the DC live action movies, but I am absolutely loving the animated movies and I cannot wait to see their next year's lineup. I also will be talking about Godzilla movies because I love Godzilla, as you can see with my Godzilla figures that were in my collection there and everything related to it. So you can see I've got a pretty huge collection of everything ranging from older anime titles to newer anime titles, to you know, figures relating to other things. We've got my Razafon poster, which is an amazing anime, and one that I think is underrated and a lot of people don't know about. It's a really good anime. I'm gonna be talking about that in a future episode too. And then of course you can see my Macross collection. I am a huge, huge fan of Macross. I've loved Macross ever since it was Robotech over here in the US. And then I eventually watched Macross Plus and realized, whoa, wait a minute, Macross is actually a Japanese thing? And it was actually from Japan? And Robotech was just a uh, you know rebranding of it? I was like, that's actually pretty cool. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, I am both a huge fan of the original Robotech series, the Macross one, and also a huge fan of Macross itself. I do not discriminate or hate. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed in, of course, like any other fan, is Harmony Gold's handling of the license. If they would just let it go and let us have it in full, everything would be a lot better. But that's a story for another time. And of course, as you can see, more Star Wars Armada, and then of course my manga. I have a ton of manga. This isn't even all of my manga collection. Some of it is still in boxes, just because of the sheer lack of room to have enough bookshelves to display them all. So we'll be going over a lot of my favorite manga. And of course, we've got my Gal Guy Gar figure here. He is fantastic. I absolutely love this figure. It is definitely one of the best figures that I've gotten from the Chogokin action figure line. And then my masterpiece, Transformers Optimus Prime. More manga and light novels here, as you can see, with some really rare Gundam Seed novels. Those Gundam Seed light novels are hard to run by. And of course, Helsing right next to Drifters by the same creator. And Rebirth, that is a hidden gem of a manga. And I'm definitely looking forward to reviewing that for you guys. Some of my old strategy guides and how to do, of course, guides and things like that. Uh, of course, some of my books and stuff for manga and games and movies and things like that. I've got a lot of those too that I'm going to be going over. And of course, more light novels, including the Overlord light novel series. I'm looking forward to getting some people introduced into Overlord. And some of my other books, as you can see here, Interview with Monster Girls. That was a fantastic read. I can't wait to get the last books of that. And of course, some very, very cool encyclopedia-like guides, like the Final Fantasy Ultimania Archive. I'm glad that finally got released here. And that's one of the other things I'm gonna be going over. But yes, essentially, the Age channel, it is all about anime, gaming, and entertainment that I love, that I wanna pass that love and appreciation on to other people that may not have ever read or seen any of these animes or played any of the games that I'll be going over. That will include, of course, classic older PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 1 games, everything up to PlayStation 4, Xbox 360. I don't have an Xbox One yet, but I'm waiting for a good sale this holiday season to grab one because I also want to have that game in console as well as my PC, my PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, and my Xbox 360 that I got to refurbish version of and these two play archive figures these are actually my wife's but of course she has me displaying them in the collection in my room but as you can see here 
Yeah, I've got a pretty huge collection, a lot of stuff I cannot wait to share with you guys. Some of this stuff already has videos, but there's a lot more that I'm just looking forward to sharing with you. So now we're gonna go ahead and transition over to my gaming collection and talk a little bit more about the gaming side of things. So once again, this is my uh, gaming setup out in the living room area of my new house. And as you can see, I've got a few books out here, the ones that I've got currently on my to-read list and some that I'm going to be reviewing soon up there. My old Halo Reach Collector's Edition and, oh boy, Final Fantasy XIV 1.0 Collector's Edition. I'll be talking about that in the future. We got some Warhammer books because, you know, if you love sci-fi reading the novels, you got to love the Warhammer series. They are fantastic books and I love them. A re-edition of the Mobile Suit Gundam series, Roka Brave of the Six Flowers, which I'm really, really going to have fun reviewing that for you guys and talking about that because it's a great novel series and I wish the anime had gotten more episodes. And of course you see my strategy guides here. Now on the gaming side, I am a fan of gaming through all platforms. I've already talked about the game consoles I have. I also have a Nintendo 3DS. Uh, my wife has the Switch, so I can also play Switch games whenever I want to, things like that. So I do not discriminate between all the consoles or PC or get into that whole war thing. Because my belief is, if a console has the games that you want to play on it, that's what makes it a superior console to any other one. If every console has games that you love to play on it, then there's no superior one. They're all great in your eyes. And I think that's the way people should think about it. Because back in the day when we played games together with our friends, it didn't matter what console you had. You would go to your friend's house that had the console that you yourself wanted to play. And that's the kind of time thing I want to bring here in the Age channel. I want to share things and get people excited and get people having fun about talking about things that they want to love without being bashed for loving it. If you like Sword Art Online, I'm not a huge fan of Sword Art Online. I don't find it as entertaining, but I'm not going to hit people for that. I'm going to be glad that you like it and that you enjoy it. Because there's plenty of things that I like that people don't like and bash and hate on, and I'm okay with that. That's how you want to do things. That's fine, but it's not going to earn your friends, or it's not going to be fun to discuss things if you're constantly arguing with your friends about what's good and what's bad. If you don't like something, that's fine, but don't hit other people over the head for liking. But as you can see, I've got a pretty huge collection of, of course, Blu-rays and everything that spans several different genres, everything from sci-fi to hot, um, you know, action hero movies to superhero movies and comic book hero movies to fun little kids movies, things like that, and some old school classics like my old Robotech collection and my Razafon collection, uh, Gundam Sea Destiny, yes, Gundam Sea Destiny, we all know. <laughs> I have problems with it too. I don't completely hate it, but oh boy, does it have some problems. But some old classic animes, as you can see up here. And of course, Gal Guy Gar, very, very rare DVD collection. So, again, thank you all for joining me here in the G Kaiser Age. I hope you liked what you saw today. As you can see, my page has a new image for my cover and banner and everything. So, definitely was fun making that. And as always, please leave comments. If you saw something that you'd like me to do a review on in my collection, definitely let me know. Like, favorite, and subscribe. And always share my channel so that way it can grow bigger, do a lot more stuff for you guys. I have a Facebook, a Twitter, an Imager, and a Twitch with all the links listed below on my main channel page here. But once again, thank you for joining me here in the G Kaiser age. Lucian G Kaiser signing out until the next review and discussion.